there's one thing we always look forward to the day after any award show. It's our girl Bobby's red carpet remix. Today, contributor Bobby Thomas has been putting her own tweaks and touches in some of last night's stunning Oscar fashions. Hi, Bobby. Hi, Hi. sweetheart. It's so much fun to sort of sit at home on your couch and not have any stress to get dressed. So, ladies, you all looked beautiful before I start. But um, one of the big trends that we saw last night it was the most covered red carpet yes. in terms of high necks and long sleeves, and that's because the runways have been really filled with this sort of modern modesty, well, which is kind spent of great. The last couple of years, totally naked. Naked, yes, yes, from of course. Dakota Johnson, Fifty Shades, um, of course, and I think this might have been a strategic direction for her. However, she's so young. This kind of reminds me of when you go to the saloon at an amusement park and you want to dress <laughs> no, I, up. I'm like sorry I'm saying that out loud. Of the whole evening. It's Gucci it's... and people say Gucci can do, do no wrong. They're yes. very hot right now. But I do think on her, yeah. I would have loved to see maybe a little um, sleeveless or some halter because I think it could have balanced it. This looks mm -hmm. like a, an apron. Yeah, I it's also understand. the color and satin, by the way. Satin is something that's much better draped it and does, not and sewn. It does not photograph that it, well. It's hard. It's very hard. It's wrinkled from the car. Okay. Ruth Nega. Yes. She is adorable. And her. by the way, she, this is something she chooses to wear often. High necks, long sleeve. Very She's elegant. so petite. I love this idea. However, if you're at home and you think I can't pull off that much. Yes. You know, what I wanted to point out is maybe shortening the sleeve, you could alter a dress because then you see a little bit more of her. It feels like with a petite frame, sometimes it's covered up and there's an overlay over the lace. So this might have given her a little length. That does look chic, I have to say, the short sleeve. I also did something that you might not spot at first, but if you look here, the there's the headband, yes. the earrings, the makeup, there's the two textures here at the top. A lot going on. But here, if you see just the one texture, it kind of elongates her. I stretched oh, wow. the lace. Yeah. So it creates more of a focal point. And again, point. we want everybody to know you're not criticizing. No. You're just saying, wouldn't no. it be fun if yes. we did this? You're playing. Because exactly. you don't like the terminology worse dress. No, it, it, ever. Even more than we she do. She did it's, something so refreshing. That's but it's amazing. All, it's all personal yes. taste. And yeah. if you're at home, you can get this effect with a necklace or a bib collar that you can put on a dress. Because I think sometimes you see a dress in the store and you want to make it your own. Uh -huh. So Emma Stone. Stone. So gorgeous, she knocked it out of the park. I loved this dress on her. She was in Givenchy, the fringe was so fun. And just because, why not see what it looks like in pink? Ooh, cute in pink. Uh -oh. I love redheads in pink. I thought champagne looked beautiful, but rosé is fun too. So oh, yeah. I just thought it would be fun to see what a little dash of pink looked like. But when she was on stage accepting, she was shining. There was shining. a lot yeah. of gold, right? Gorgeous. It was a trend. Well, she looked like her Oscar. Yeah, she did. Yeah. It was a big gold trend. Now, Alicia Vikander. This was Louis Vuitton, again, gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I kind of thought would be fun to see is maybe switching up the hair and makeup and jewelry and neckline to be a little more sleek and strong because it's a very sweet dress uh -huh. and there's a lot going on. There's the top knot, the necklace. This kind of makes her a little bit more broad in the shoulder and then there's this line that's kind of breaking her up, right? So if you look at what a oh. one shoulder would do, the one shoulder kind of brings your eye line down. Beautiful. And by losing the neck, the necklace, you've kind of got more of a clean palette where here she doesn't stand out, all the stuff does. Yeah. Even though it's a gorgeous yeah, she looks choice. Beautiful. What a just lean the styling. Torso she has. Yeah. Look She's, at that. She's and I mean, that dress really does highlight how how thin she is. And you can see the hair and makeup choice. When you have a sweet dress and you're wondering what to do for your hair and makeup, I think going a little more sleek and strong kind of balances. Otherwise it can be and this is in the best way, youthful, more Disney. I wish I looked like a five year old, yes. but the top knot and the necklace can be overly sweet sometimes. If you want something that balances it, go for something a little yeah. more modern. And then Felicity Jones, she is beautiful in Dior, yes. looks like a ballerina. This dress in person Feminine. is ethereal. It's mm -hmm. got all these layers yeah. and, you know, yeah. gathered. Mm -hmm. um, fabric with sequins, but I did. did think that it kind of overpowered her frame and made it look a little straight, okay. where yeah. it was begging for a belt. And that's it. Belts and then, were a big trend last night. Yeah, yeah last but oh, not I least. I thought she looked great. Yes. Nicole Kidman looked great. Yes. And I love she's that great, dress. but I kind of uh -oh. like the idea of maybe Nine a risk taking dress. My darling yes. Go on, you get it, honey. I have more pictures. Hello, today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.